I, got a, I like fresh food, so I, I'm in the mood for salad. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up these tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. These are hothouse tomatoes. I wish I could grow my own. I miss being able to grow tomatoes, man. It's nothing like just being able to grow something and then eat it. It's so satisfying. And, uh, it tastes so much better than anything you can buy. Uh, you just can't buy something that's as good as something you, that you grew yourself. It's just it's just not the same quality and then there's just that extra satisfaction and knowing that you grow it oh man it's just it's just the best so these tomatoes are ripe so i gotta eat them i'm just trying to get them into bite-sized chunks you know what i'm saying that's the goal here you know there's no there's no right way it's just like uh can you are they easy to spear on your fork and can you put them in your mouth easily that's that's the that's the objective Ta -da. and then Some of this magical pink salt. That's so scared. So I'm not measuring, but I'm seeing how much is going in there. So not, this is an old strawberry jam jar, and I just put some holes in it with the with the nail, and I can see how much is coming out. And that salt's better for you than regular salt, so I. I don't feel bad using it. <laughs> There's some uh, pepper in there. Just squeeze a, squeeze some lemon in there. And then I will use these, these lemons right here. I'll put them in my drink. The rest of them. Like I'll cut that off right there and I'll use this whole thing right here. I'll just put it in a drink and uh, I put a lemon in a lot of stuff. I eat a lot of lemons. They just make everything taste better. <laughs> Sometimes you eat some seeds. can't really tell when you're eating seeds it's just part of the food that you're eating but if I can I try and take them out just cuz lemon right here will get put in a in a thing of tea and that time for another swig of beer I might have to make me another one of those And I just put one of these lemons in here. <clears throat> that is good.
It's pretty rare for me. But So, see the, this is the last of the mayonnaise right here. So I have a trick to getting all that good mayonnaise out of there. So you get as much as you can with the spoon, right? And you just put that in there. Then you just get the tomatoes and you put them in there like this. Shake it all around. And that gets all that good mayonnaise out of there. Well, I got a lot more mayonnaise out of there than not doing that. Okay, well, here's where the magic of the salad dressing comes in. My mulberries. <laughs> the thing about the mulberries, though, is you gotta, you gotta smash them. You can't put them in their hole. You gotta, each one, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta smash it. This makes everything taste good. These mulberries, they just put, they put, they put flavor and everything. Oh my God, they're so delicious. These are like little fla flavor bombs. Well, you really gotta, you really gotta smash them though. You can't put them in their hole, because they'll stay whole. Then, then you just, you just mix that all around. I'm pretty sure, did I put pepper? I don't remember I put pepper or not already. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. <sighs> Got this red onion I've been eating on for a couple days already.
gonna save this for a sandwich. I'm gonna make a sandwich right now. So this part I'm gonna save for that sandwich I'm gonna make. And then this is the lettuce I've been eating on for a couple days already. <clears throat> 69 cents at the market. I got another one in the fridge. off the, the parts that I don't want to eat and then like I don't eat, want to eat these white these thick white parts just take those off and then I think all these white parts right here I don't want to eat those and this white stuff right here I'm not partial to that but the rest of it I like so just you could just start pouring that in there. Yeah. Okay. You just mix the salad, I think. <clears throat> 